That leafy spurge looks good enough to eat. At least to me it does. They call me the leafy spurge beetle. But not everybody likes leafy spurge like I do. In fact, except for a few bugs like me, no one much likes leafy spurge at all. Leafy spurge is a noxious weed that spreads like wildfire and crowds out the plants we grow for food. That's where I come in. Leafy spurge is my favorite grub. How else do you think I got my nickname? I'm the leafy spurge beetle. Or Epthona flava, if you please. I'm not a native Montanan. I come from Eurasia, thousands of miles across the ocean. I followed the leafy spurge to North America. Now we both live on the Rocky Mountain front. In 1925, leafy spurge moved into one county in Montana. Today, it spread to all of them. Let me show you how I'm helping some folks in Teton County get rid of their leafy spurge. Let's go! It's summertime in Shoto, Montana. The sun is shining and the weeds are out. That means bug collecting time. These Montanans created a special day just for gathering insects. Welcome everybody. This is a great, great turnout. We are calling this the Buzzy Brain Bug Collection Day. It's got a bunch of bees in it, so it's kind of just rolls off your tongue. Buzzy Breen grabbed a hold of insects and said, we're going to have insects on the Teton River. Buzzy Breen knew that you could use bugs like me to stop leafy spurge. So let's see how it's done. Sweep nets is the starting point. I mean, it's like sweeping a floor, basically. You're just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The insects may be really close to the ground. There's actually three species out here. One is black. The other two are basically gold in color. As you walk through, um, a spurge patch, you'll probably either hear or see these bugs hopping off the plants. The Teton is probably one of the epicenters of, of leafy spurge infestation on the Rocky Mountain front and really got a good start here on the Teton River after the 1964 flood. A lot of this area where we're standing was disturbed because of that flood. So with disturbed ground that gave uh, plants like weeds uh, a real easy in as far as getting established and that's why this was a really bad area. Uh, I have a ranch uh, on the along the Sun River Valley area there um, five miles west of Vaughan and on the Muddy Creek side um, going north towards Power. We do have a lot of uh, weed problems with uh, specifically the, the leafy spurge, and we've been trying to control it, I've been spraying and spraying. That's right. Leafy spurge beetles like me aren't the only way to control weeds. Spraying chemicals called herbicides is another way to keep them from spreading. With a tough weed like leafy spurge, you gotta use everything you got. Let me at that leafy spurge. It's almost impossible to think about controlling a patch of spurge this big with herbicides. Um, there's just too much of it is underground where you can't get spray to it in an effective way. And now with the use of the bugs, um, we're never going to completely get rid of leafy spurge, but it's going to be at a level where we can tolerate it. I was wondering what's going to happen. No, 
know they're supposed to come in tomorrow. Wednesday. In the past, we have worked both sides of the road right here and done really well. I have a feeling that the area that has the most bugs is just back to the east of us. We a are collecting bugs and spreading them out all up and down the Rocky Mountain front. We've had hundreds and hundreds of releases um, up and down the front. We are talking about a huge area that we're trying to impact here. It's 120 miles from north to south and 30 miles wide from east to west. All that effort means a lot of people from all different places have to work together. My name is Mary Lambert and I come from the Blackfeet Reservation in Browning, Montana. I'm here today uh, collecting the leafy spurge beetle. And I recently started as the Blackfeet Noxious Weed Coordinator. There are people like Mary all over Montana working together to fight weeds. Being a weed coordinator is a really important job. So how do you become one? First, you have to care a lot about the land. I have been a seasoned firefighter since 1984. Um, the fires that I fought have taken me um, all along the Northwest United States. So I've had the opportunity to see a lot of land and also to learn about noxious weeds. And recently getting into this position, it was just kind of like I went on fire for this job and, and the passion was there and, and I've been moving quite aggressively in this position. And we have a lot of leafy spurge along the Cutbank Creek watershed. What you want to do is, as you collect insects, you want to be shaking your net so the insects aren't just popping right out of there. By shaking the net, you're going to drop them to the bottom of the net and keep them balled up down there in the bottom. So you're shaking your net. When you come up to the funnel, make sure somebody's there to help you with the lid and you want as little time with this being open as possible. So you're going to come up kind of start working it up, working it up, working it up, then shake it out, and then get somebody on the lid, and you got your insects. They're gonna drop down to this little peanut butter container. This is just threaded on the bottom. That pops off, and we wanna wait until we get a big load of the, the uh, leafy spurge beetles in here. Scoop out a, a full uh, film canister and you got about 3,000 insects right there. They have a better chance then of uh, actually taking in that new location if you release 3,000 of them. 